Okay, so today we're going to take you through how to install and configure VMotion from voiceemotions.com. First thing you want to do is you want to go to the website, and I already got it loaded up here, at www.voiceemotion.com. And there are three different purchase rates that you can do. You can order the, the basic edition for $19.95. You can order the standard edition for $29.95. And then you have the golden edition for $39.95. And each of them increases more different features you can add to it. You also have a free trial that you can do, which is what we're going to look at today, because for most people, the free trial version suits everything you need. Now, I will say this, for the free trial version, there is a limitation. You can only use five clips, but that's normally the most that most people need for a show. And you cannot record by local backup on VMotion itself. It only allows you to record for five minutes but it will allow you to continue on and continue playing those clips and everything. So, But what we're going to do is we're just going to download a trial for the basic edition. So we want to go to English up here and just like any other standard computer you want to save it, I save it to my hard drive. So we'll save it there and it takes about uh, 20 seconds to download and I'm on broadband. So it has been downloaded there, and there it is right there. This right here is our install feature. Now, I already have VMotion installed on my computer, so I'm not going to reinstall it. So we're going to pretend that I have got it installed, and we're going to open up VMotion here. And with the trial version, you will always get this upgrade license feature. And it asks if you want to upgrade right now, because right now mine is an older version which I prefer to keep the older version so I don't want to upgrade to the newer version out there you have a chance to buy a license or you can do it later I always click do it later and it's just a little little annoyance but I just click it out of the way but to configure via motion for any of your SIP programs and I use XLite what you want to do is now first of all let me show you some of the stuff on via motion via motion normally comes with 35 pre-installed clips you can delete those like I have, and these are all the different clips that I have added of my own features that I use during my shows. Some of them are intros and outros to my show. Some of them are just little uh, humorous little clips that I do in the opening. If I ever have a pre-recorded segment, I add them into it, and I'll show you how to add them in, in a few minutes. But it's just all these different little clips, and right now I think I have, I've got 63 clips in here right now. But what you want to do is you want to go up to the Tools button and go down to Options. And what you're going to see is in your VOIP clients, you see that VMotion is set up to work with MSN Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, Skype, Google Talk, Tencent WQ, AOL Messenger, ICQ, and then it has a spot for three customizables, which is what we're going to look at here. We're going to click on the first customizable, and over here, we're going to set this up to work with XLite. In both the short and long names, we're going to type in the name XLite. Now, here's the part that gets a lot of people. Down here in the executable field, you want to hit Browse. And you can do this one of two ways. You can go into your, your computer here. And let's back out to the computer. There it is. And you can go to your your C drive, go to your program files, and look for Counterpath. That is the company that produces XLite. Go into the XLite folder here. And you can click on the XLite executable file here. Now that's one way of doing it. I already have a shortcut on my desktop. And a lot of people, if they use XLite a lot, they keep a shortcut right there mine is right here and all I do is I'm going to hit the browse again and get to my hard drive and I'm going to click on that shortcut right now and as you see it automatically puts everything in there and it puts that same XLite executable file that we were in with the program files at counterpath slash XLite it's the same thing but I have a shortcut on my desktop then you just want to hit OK and it tells you that any options changes will take effect after you have restarted via motion. So we're going to close it out and restart. I'm just going to close it out completely. 
and then restart via motion. And this will enable all the different changes we've made in there. Once again, we'll get rid of that. And here's my via motion. And if you want to go back into the tools and the options, you will see that the customizable now is set up for x -Lite. And right down here, if you want to hover, here's all your little icon buttons down here showing you MSM, MSN Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, Skype, Google Talk, and this one here, number one with the phone, is set up for x -Lite. Now here's, here's a feature for via motion. When you're using it with x or any other SIP program, you always want to make sure that the via motion is running first and then start up your x -Lite. If you do it backwards, if you do x -Lite first and then via motion, you will not have any audio. So always make sure you start via motion first and then x -Lite. Up the top you have some brief buttons here. You have an add files button. You have an add directory. You have a delete. You have a button here where if I were to highlight all systems go, say I can move it up or down in the list here. This here is your volume control where you can adjust your volume. This has a mic mute control. We don't want that right there. And then some other buttons right up here at the top. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of files here just to show you how easy it is to add files. Once you have an MP3 format file, you can click the button and then just find where you have it on your desktop. In my case, we're going to add a voicemail that I'm going to be doing for one of my shows. And it's right down at the bottom. We're going to add a couple of clip, clips that I will be using for one of my shows here as well. One of the neat features is if you have a dial-in telephone number for voicemail, you can save any voicemail messages you get, maybe someone commenting on your shows. You can save it as an MP3 format, and then you can play it during your show as via motion. One other quick thing I will show you is with this, we're going to highlight Superman, Batman, Public Enemies, which is a clip I'll be doing for a show I'm coming up. You can add star emotions to them. The star emotions is scaled 0 through 5. I'm going to put a 3 rating on each of these. And what that does is that prioritizes these above the rest. And what I will now do, as you see here, each of these have a little 3 star, depending on what rating I want to give it. I come up to list. You come down to sort by stars, and you could do it by ascending or descending. And I'm going to hit descending, and it adds it to the top of my uh, my list of, of clips here, which ones are my favorites, which ones I use most often. And they will always remain up at the top here. Whenever I add new clips, these ones that have a star rating will always be up here. But that's a very brief lesson on how to get you started with via motions. Uh, via motions works great with all the different SIP programs. I would highly recommend it. If you feel that you need more than your standard five clips, the 1995 version is an outstanding version for license. It'll do everything that you need it to do. But this has been Logan with my mini guide on via motions.